Man, that was kind of a, a creepy smile there. I didn't realize how creepy it was until after I shot that intro. Anyways, what is up guys? My name is Mark San Maria. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the RC Vlog. Guys, today I am revisiting another project. I told you guys I'm going to revisit some of my failed projects. Here's another one. This is my Nitro Fortec that I got done, but then I blew a servo and I thought I had some header issues. Anyways, I was just sick and tired of messing with it. So I threw in the towel, but we busted it back out. I ended up already replacing the servos. I had these two blown servos, one with blown gears and one with a blown motor. And I basically just got the good parts out of both of them, put them together. And I'm now running a high, a high voltage servo for throttle. And I put one of those cheap basher servos for steering. And I have it in my link in my, in my description below where you can figure out where those cheap bashering, ba bashering, bashering. Or those cheap bashing servos where you can get those cheap bashing servos so go check out the description but all i have to do now is i need to put a receiver in it because i don't have a receiver in it i am going to run a traxxas radio because it does get really good range so i need to put a receiver in it and i think oh and then i gotta mess with the body i gotta mount the body so i'm gonna run this is really bad because i'm a mustang guy i'm gonna run this camaro body this body came with the car and it fits on it perfect this is a pro line body so i do approve of this body just don't approve of the Camaro part but we're gonna run this body so I gotta mount the body put the receiver in and then I'm gonna run it get a good tune on it the weather change is great outside and then hopefully by the end of this video I'm gonna be doing nitro drifting because I got my drift tires right there so let me get to work and I'll see you out in the in the parking lot or wherever I decide to, to ride drive. <laughs> guys I'm not gonna lie this Camaro body does look kind of sick it, it sits really well because the body's wide I think I believe this is a 200 millimeter body so it complements the Fortec 2.0 wheels and tires the Fortec 2.0 wheels and tires on the original Nitro Fortec it makes the car sit a little bit wider so I think you need a 200 millimeter body but yeah this this body I mean it it, it looks good I hate to admit it, but it looks good. A couple of side notes. I had to take off the uh, front bumper for the body to fit. So it's not going to have a front bumper, but it's okay because I don't wreck. Yeah, I'm say that now. I'm going to just wad it up in a curb. Anyways, the other thing is I ended up running my Spectrum radio. And the reason is, see this little piece right? There's a little thing right here. That's where your antenna is supposed to mount. Um, that piece is broken. And the only way to replace that piece is if I replace the whole top of the chassis, which is gonna be a big pain in the butt, and I don't have, I might have it, I don't know. It doesn't matter, I'm not gonna do it. I am gonna run a Spectrum radio because the Spectrum radio antenna is a lot smaller and it will fit inside the receiver box. So I might not get some crazy, crazy distance or um, range with this thing, but it doesn't matter because I'm gonna be drifting like crazy. So I'm waiting for my stuff to charge. My glow plug nighter starting now, I'm charging now. I'm about to charge up my receiver pack and then I am going to fire this thing up. So, super excited, it's gonna be awesome. Finally, you guys get some Nitro stuff. You, you guys have been asking for it. All right, here we go, guys. I'm gonna be starting this up. I'm not even gonna edit it out. You're gonna watch the train wreck unravel if this thing doesn't, if there's problems with it. But it's been a while since I started up. I did like take care of it and treat it like I was gonna store it for a while. So it's the engine spinning just fine. So I don't think there's gonna be any problems, but you never know. So let's get to starting this thing up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
All right, she sounds good now. So if you saw me, I was messing with the needles. Basically what was happening was it sounded a little lean on the bottom. Um, and the reason I thought it was lean on the bottom is because when it sits idle, you can hear the RPMs jump a little bit. Um, that means it's running out of fuel on the bottom. So I reached up the bottom and now it's idling just fine. It's idling really good actually, let me clear it out. Yeah, it sounds great. So I'm not gonna test, or I'm not gonna tune in the top speed needle because there's just not enough runway. And it's too risky to try to get on full throttle. I mean, you can see I'm basically drifting with rubber tires right now. Whenever I put the drift tires on there, it's gonna be crazy, but the tune seems good. I'll tune in the top speed needle whenever we get to the parking lot, but it's pretty freaking awesome. It's running good. Sounds great. Sounds really good. Nice. Well, there you have it guys. This project is finally done. I didn't have any problems with the engine. The engine ran perfect. I was a little concerned because this is a used engine. I'm a little skeptical on used engines, but the only problem I did have wasn't with the engine. It was with the brake linkage. The brake linkage had this little fuel line, you know, a little fuel line to make the brake just a little bit smoother and a little bit softer. It's not as dramatic. And uh, yeah, the fuel line gave out. So because the fuel line is old. So I ended up replacing the fuel line when I was out there. But other than that, it was, it was awesome. Um, drifting is fun for about five minutes and then after that it's not so much fun um, I, you just need I think you need more people drifting for it to be a lot of fun or like little scale buildings and cars and trucks and um, people I don't know anyways I'm closing the closing the book on this project it was fun I I'm, I'll be lying if I said I wasn't happy this one was done this did kind of this was kind of a pain in my neck but Nonetheless, it's done. So if you like this video, guys, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time. Later, guys.